beginning of 2010, I realized that we had to correct ourselves at Central Kia. Our reputation was not the best. There were postings out there that nobody had responded to. Uh, they had found that there were complaints with the Better Business Bureau that nobody had responded to. I was determined to turn around not only who we are and how we are and how we operate. We started a program with, uh, with the University of North Texas on how we would have their advertising class be the, the campaign for our stores, like you would see an ad agency making a pitch to a, for a company. We've had uh, several students that stood out, but as a matter of fact, we hired two of those students, and just we're, we're excited to what they did. Millennials are a growing demographic. They're becoming more affluent because they're gaining higher levels of education, they're getting better jobs in the workforce, so they're having more disposable income to put towards cars. Our reputation online, our reputation on the social was not what, what I would be satisfied with. How I learned from the students, word of mouth today is on this. Social media is very important to millennials. We get most of our information from social media. The strongest form of marketing is really becoming internet buzz. One of the things we've done with our website is to have live chat with greetings from our, from our salespeople because we found out that the salesperson giving the story is better than just the deal. We started like, trying to connect with the customer, like being a good neighbor. People are actually connected with us. We gain trust around our community. Advertising is more sometimes than just putting an ad in the paper or an ad on the radio. Sometimes you have to show up. For example, we have a no text and drive pledge that's part of our high school and our college commitment. Myself and Irina actually went to high schools throughout the DFW Metroplex and we talked one-on-one -on -one with students and talked to them about the dangers of texting and driving. And it kind of just, it's one of those ideas that just popped up that this is not only a good thing to do, it's the right thing to do. Well, there's about 70,000 Korean people that live within just a few miles of this dealership. Recent trip to a grocery store, I discovered uh, Ken Park, who was customer service manager of this particular store, and I convinced Ken to switch careers to come in and work in the auto dealerships. Frank had an impression while he was visiting China and Korea, and he saw that most Koreans are driving Kia products. Probably Korean Americans in this U.S. market will also come back to Kia. We just put some Korean language website, this is a great example about not hiring car people. He brought great customer skills to us, even though we had to teach him the car business. It's something that's critically important, not just for that market, but also for the Hispanic market and other markets as well. When I started out, we used to sell like maybe 15, 20 used cars a month. Now we sell 100 plus. We have seen our consumer satisfaction soar through the ceiling in how we treat our customers. We've had an increase over 100%, and we're always constantly looking to achieve better. We have so many great ideas. I just can't wait for us to put them out there. Central Kia cares. We've got an exciting product. We've got an exciting group of people that we work with. Uh, obviously, the message has to get out that we care. Part of our effort was through this is to be able to sell cars. Let's, let's, who's doing that? That's mine.